Remember not long ago how cold the winter weather was. Do you remember all of the snow that came? There was snow everywhere, piled high. Everyone was cold and wanted to stay indoors to keep warm. But what if all that cold and snow meant that you and your friends would have the best time ever? Imagine if all that snow and cold weather meant you could play your favorite game, hockey. What if I told you that after all that waiting to play hockey, that you wouldn't be able to? What if the reason you weren't allowed to play was out of something you couldn't change? The reason you can't play is that you're different. How would you feel? This is what happened to Danny in The Moccasin Goalie by William Roy Brownridge. Danny and his four best friends lived for hockey. They played it every day and were very good. Each one of them was good at hockey in different ways. Are you and your friends all good at the same thing? Or are there certain things that you are the best at? Danny was the best at being the goalie. But Danny had a leg and foot that wasn't like everyone else's. So he wore moccasins instead of skates. Do you think that matters? Should Danny be allowed to play hockey even though he can't wear skates? Would you still play with Danny even though he's different? Now think back to a time in your life when there was something you really wanted. Do you remember what it was? Did you want it so bad it was all you could think of? Now imagine after waiting for a long time, you finally had an opportunity to have it. What Danny wanted the most was to become part of a hockey team. What if I told you Danny couldn't be part of that hockey team because there was something about him that he couldn't change? How do you think that would make Danny feel? How would you feel if I said you couldn't play on my team because you were too small or because you were a girl? How would you feel if I told you you couldn't play on my team because you have a disability and weren't like everyone else? Danny and his friends weren't allowed to be on the hockey team for those very reasons. It didn't matter that they were good hockey players. How would you have felt in this situation? Do you think they should have stood up to the hockey coach and said it was unfair? Would you have stood up for you and your friends if it meant that you would be questioning an adult? Do adults always make fair decisions? Only one of Danny's friends made the team. Would you play on a team that excluded your friends? Have you ever been excluded? Danny felt that not making the team was the biggest disappointment in his life. Was there ever a time in your own life where you felt disappointed? What other emotions did you have with disappointment? Sadness? Anger? Regret? These feelings were eating Danny up. Danny was shocked when the coach showed up at his door weeks later. He came to ask Danny if he could play goalie for the next game. Danny felt that this was his time to shine, but he was nervous because he didn't want to let the team down. Have you ever been afraid of letting someone down? Everyone else had been playing and practicing for weeks, but Danny has not. If you were Danny, would you play for the team that at first told you you weren't allowed? This story is about Danny overcoming his disability. What does it mean to be disabled? What other forms of disability are there? What if Danny had a different disability? Would he be able to play hockey the same way that he does in the story? Do you think the story would be different if it were written from a girl's perspective? Imagine if this was Danny's friend's Anita's story. Now look closely at the last picture. When do you think this story took place? Do you think people with disabilities are treated the same today as they were in the past? How has it changed? What do you think? <laughs>